the ring, a simple metal loop that goes around the finger, a common piece of jewelry, one often enchanted in Tamriel. Indeed, in Vardenfell we find many enchanted rings, and why not? After all, you have ten fingers, you could theoretically put on ten different rings with ten different enchantments and do very well for yourself. You can't actually wear ten rings. Well, there's a problem with that. You see, most rings are not that powerful. They have simple enchantments. Even the most valued of these common genetic magical rings has modest effects. However, there are some rings that have powers that far surpass those of the rings sold at the local enchanter's stall. Welcome back to more lore and loot, Morrowind. Today we will be looking at the unique magical rings in Vardenfell. These items differ from the common magical rings found in the world in that they are, well, unique. One of a kind. You will only find one of them in the entire game. They are incredibly powerful and valuable items. In this guide, we will be covering all of the magical rings found in the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, including its expansion packs, Tribunal, and Blood Moon. We will be going through these powerful rings in alphabetical order. The Blood Ring. The Blood Ring is a powerful ring that grants the wearer great defense against fire magicka when used. Its effects are Fortify Health and Fire Shield, 10 to 20 points on self for 30 seconds. Resist Magicka and Resist Fire, 10 to 20% on self for 30 seconds. And Dispel, 10 to 20% on self. It is worth 30,000 Septums. This item can be found deep in the citadel of Dagoth Ur in Red Mountain, worn by Dagoth Gilvoth. Den Stagmer's Ring. Den Stagmer's Ring is a powerful defensive ring which grants the wearer resistance to the three elemental magics. Its effects are resist fire, frost, and shock or 30% on self, constant effect. It is worth 12,000 drakes. The book Tamrielic Lore describes the ring thusly. All that is known of this ring is that it may grant the user protection from certain elements. Even the name, then Stagmer, is a mystery. This ring is located in the Phallus Ancestral Tomb, near the city of Nisus. The Heart Ring The Heart Ring is another powerful defensive ring which grants the wearer defense against all types of magical attacks when used. Its effects are Dispel 20-50% to 50 on self. Lightning Shield, 10 to 20 points on self for 30 seconds. Resist Frost, Fire, Shock, Paralysis, and Magicka, 30 to 50% on self for 30 seconds. It is worth 30,000 gold. It is said that this powerful ring is worn by Dagoth Ur himself, deep within his citadel in Red Mountain. Mentor's Ring The Mentor's Ring is a prized possession for anyone seeking knowledge, for it increases the wearer's intelligence and willpower when worn. Its effects are Fortify Intelligence and Willpower, 10 points on self, and it is a constant effect. The book Tamrielic Lore describes the ring thusly, the Mentor's Ring is a prized possession for any apprentice to magic. It lends the wearer the ability to increase their intelligence and wisdom, 
thus making their use of magic more efficient. The High Wizard, Karni Asron, is said to be the creator of the ring. It was a construct for his young apprentices while studying under his guidance. After Asron's death, the ring and several other possessions vanished and have been circulated throughout Tamriel. This ring is worth 8,000 gold and can be found in the Samaris Ancestral Tomb just northwest of the coastal town of Sedanine. Moon and Star Moon and Star, or one clan under Moon and Star, as the Ashlanders call it, deserves a video unto itself. The ring was forged by the Dormer priest Kagranak and was given a blessing by the Daedric Prince Azura and was subsequently given to the Chimer hero, Nerevar. The ring gave Nerevar the powers of a great diplomat and was proof of his identity as anyone besides Nerevar would be killed the moment they put on the ring. Its effects are fortify personality and speechcraft for five points on self and it is a constant effect. The ring is worth 2,000 gold and is found during the events of the main quest of Morrowind. Now, I'm not going to tell you where, as you'll just have to keep watching my videos to find out. Ring of Khajiit The actual origin of the Ring of Khajiit is a mystery. However, it was made famous by a Khajiit, so maybe that's where it got its name. Meow. Yeah. We do know that the ring grants the wearer the power to become invisible for a short while and gain incredible speed. Thus, the ring has been sought by burglars and thieves throughout the years. This ring is worth 18,000 gold. Its effects are invisibility for 30 seconds on self and fortify speed 10 to 20 points on self for 30 seconds. The book Tamrielic Lore describes the ring thusly. The ring of the Khajiit is an ancient relic, hundreds of years older than Rajin, the thief that made the ring famous. It was Rajin who used the ring's powers to make himself invisible and as quick as the breath of wind. Using the ring, he became the most successful burglar in Ellsworth's history. Regine's eventual fate is a mystery, but according to legend, the ring rebelled against such constant use and disappeared, leaving Regine helpless before his enemies. A common theme we will find among some of Tamriel's more powerful artifacts is this penchant for disappearing from the user, almost as if they had minds of their own. This item can be obtained as the reward for completing the Daedric Prince of Mephala's quest during the events of Morrowind. Ring of Finaster The Ring of Finaster is another powerful defensive ring that wards against magic. Though not quite as powerful as Den Stagmer's ring, it does provide protection against poison, which the Stagmer's ring does not. It also provides a blanket protection against Magicka. Its effects are resist poison, shock, and Magicka, 20% on self, and is a constant effect. The ring is worth 18,000 gold. The book, Tamrielic Lore, describes the ring thusly. The Ring of Finaster was made hundreds of years ago by a man who needed good defenses to survive his adventurous life. Thanks to the ring, Finaster lived for hundreds of years and, since then, it has passed from person to person. The ring improves its wearer's overall resistance to poison, magicka, and shock. Still, Finaster was cunning and cursed the ring so that eventually it disappears from its holder possession and returns to another resting place, discontent to stay anywhere but with Finaster himself. This powerful ring can be found in the Senum Ancestral Tomb 
in the Dagenfell region. Ring of Surroundings. Ah yes, the Ring of Surroundings. This one is odd. Almost nothing is known about this ring, the creator, origins, or anything else. However, it allows the wearer to blend in with their surroundings. Its effects are chameleon, 20 to 30% on self for 30 seconds. And it is worth 12,000 gold. This ring is most commonly acquired by doing a favor for Larius Varro at the Moonmoth Legion Fort. During the quest, Larius Varro tells a little story. However, it can also be found in a small lock chest in the Dren Plantation. Pretty weird. The book Tamrielic Lore describes the ring thusly. Little is known of this prize, but it is said that it lends the wearer the ability to blend in with their surroundings. The fact that there are two instances of this ring make it questionable if it should even be on this list, but what the heck? Who's gonna stop me? Ring of the Wind. The Ring of the Wind is a strange one. Tamrielic lore describes it thusly. No facts are known about the Ring of the Wind, but the title and the few rumors lend one to think it grants the wearer at its speed. But it doesn't. Its effects are Fortify Agility, 30 points on self, and it's a constant effect. A more accurate description of this ring is given by Lalatia Varian, the Oracle of the Imperial Cult in Vardenfell. Quote, The Ring of the Wind is a legendary treasure of elsewhere, sacred to Kinnereth. It was owned by the nimble acrobat Kisimba Springsnow, who was said to always land on her feet, except when she chose to land on the feet of others. End quote. This ring is worth 8,000 gold and can be found in the cave Namu, west of Telerun. Soul Ring The Soul Ring is a well-balanced ring, granting the wearer both resistances to elements, but also granting boosts to magicka and health. Its effects are Dispel 10-20% on self, Fortify Magicka and Health, 10 to 20 points on self for 30 seconds. And Resist Shock and Paralysis, 10 to 20 points on self for 30 seconds. It is worth 30,000 gold. This ring is found in the caverns of Mamaea, one of the six house citadels, and is currently in the possession of Dagoth Arrhenus. Vampiric Ring. Ah yes, the Vampiric Ring, one of the most deadly artifacts in all of Tamriel. And I mean that, not just one of the most deadly rings, I'm talking one of the most deadly of all artifacts. As the name implies, the Vampiric Ring drains the victim's life force and gives it to the wearer. Its effects are Absorb, Fatigue, and Health, 20 to 30 points for 10 seconds on touch. It is worth 32,000 gold. The drawback of the ring is that it only contains enough power for two charges, in other words, two uses, before it has to be recharged. Otherwise, imagine how it could be abused. Tamrielic lore describes the ring thusly. One of the more deadly and rare artifacts in Tamriel is the Vampiric Ring. It is said that the ring has the power to steal its victim's health and grant it to the wearer. The exact nature and origin of the ring is wholly unknown, but many elders speak of its evil creation in Marwind long, long ago by a cult of vampire followers. The Vampiric Ring is an extremely rare artifact and is only seen every few hundred cycles of the moons. This ring is found in the top level of Ald Redania 
in the possession of a powerful skeleton war wizard. Warlock's Ring. The Warlock's Ring is another one of these magical artifacts that apparently has a mind of its own. Being described by the book Tamrielic Lore thusly, the Warlock's Ring of the Archmage Cerebane is one of the most popular relics of myth and fable. In Tamriel's ancient history, Cerebane saved all of the continent by judicious use of this ring, and ever since, it has helped adventurers with less lofty goals. It is best known for its ability to reflect spells cast at its wearer and to improve his or her speed and to restore health. No adventurer can wear the Warlock's Ring for too long, for it is said that the ring is Sir Bane's alone to command. Despite the fact that the book says it can improve the wearer's health, its only two effects are to reflect 10 to 20 percent on self and to fortify speed 10 to 20 points on self both for 30 seconds despite this oversight the ring is still worth acquiring it is worth 22,000 septums and can be found in the cave of Ashirbadon east of the ruins of Balfell near Vivek City and finally Hircine's Ring. Hircine, the prince of the hunt, father of all werebeasts. It is fitting that his ring grants the wearer the ability to transform into a werewolf. You see, lycanthropy in Tamriel is a curse. You will transform either from bloodlust, the urge to slay the innocent, or from the phases of the moon. However, with the ring, the wearer can transform at will. As you can imagine, this is an incredibly powerful item. The ring grants the wearer werewolf on self, constant effect for approximately six in-game hours. It is worth 6,400 gold. The ring is acquired by completing the main quest in the Blood Moon main quest line. Be warned that if anyone sees you transform by using the ring, you will be forever hated by all. And that does it. <clears throat> yeah, that, uh, that does it. There are no magical unique rings in the Tribunal expansion. Weapons? Oh, yes. Magical rings? Oh, no. Anyway, that will do it for this episode of Lore and Loot Morrowind. Be sure to tell me in the comments which is your favorite ring. Have you found them all? Please give this video a like if you liked it, or a big ol' thumbs down if you feel it smelled like that time you stepped on war poop with your brand new expensive shoes. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.